the news is a bummer, you know? The news pins us all against each other. The news separates us all, you know? The news makes it seem like all white people are scared of minorities. I don't think all white people are scared of minorities. I do think a lot of white people are scared of looking racist. That's really the big fear. Like, if I'm walking down the street at 4 in the morning and I see a sketchy-looking white guy coming towards you, I'm like, crap, I'm going to cross the street. If I'm walking down the street at 4 in the morning and I see a sketchy-looking black guy coming towards you, I'm like, crap, I wish I could cross the street. <laughs> right? I'd rather get stabbed and look like an asshole. <laughs> That's where we're at. Whitey is at peak scared of looking racist. We're terrified. We'll go so far out of our way, we'll actually come off way more racist. Now, I went skiing recently with my friend. I was like, why do you see more black people skiing? Why is that? He has no idea, but he doesn't want to seem ignorant, so he just has to bullshit. He's like, well, you know, they don't grow up with it. I was like, oh, yeah, right, right. Well, I'm from Louisiana. I didn't grow up with it. I'm here. Well, skis are very expensive. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, I've never seen a black guy with anything expensive on their feet. Interesting. Interesting. What are you doing? Just say you don't know. You actually sound way worse. Well, they're all poor. <laughs> Just say you don't know. That's why black people are smart. White people, we do crazy stuff. We swim with sharks. We go bungee jumping, cliff diving. You ask a black guy, why do they do that? They go, I don't know. That's white people shit. That's a good answer. They don't sit around bullshitting while you're like, oh, you know, Europe. <laughs> but, you know, I'm a white guy. So if I talk about race, another white person will inevitably call me racist. That's like what we do now. Yeah? It's like, I know you're trying to seem like a hero, but you're going to ruin that word. You're going to take the teeth out of it. It's like an important word. Like I was on the subway recently. I was watching an interracial couple make out. I was just staring at them. <laughs> And the guy next to them caught me and he goes, what the hell? I see you staring at them. What are you, racist? I was like, what? Racist? No, I'm a creep. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm hard. What? <laughs> I'm not a racist. I'm aroused. <laughs> it's an important word. People abuse it. A friend of mine, she's Puerto Rican. We grew up together. She's like, I hate going to the gym. The white women there all give me the stink eye because they're racist. I was like, damn, what happened? She's like, well, first I bring my food in and I eat it. <laughs> then I play my music really loud. Huh. It's like, well, maybe they just hate you. <laughs> Let's not lump together all of Puerto Rico because you're a twat. <laughs> you're being inconsiderate and rude. Take a little ownership. You can't just blame bigotry. You'll never become a better person. Look, I grew up in a black neighborhood. I was a bedwetter. I'd sleep at their houses. Eventually they stopped inviting me over. I wasn't like, ah, they hate white people. No, I ruined their fucking furniture. <laughs> They didn't hate white, they hated yellow. <laughs> Sorry, Asian. I don't know, I just make jokes. I like all the groups. I met a nice girl in that Jewish app. What's that Jewish app called? The Jewish one? Uh, uh, PayPal. <laughs> Going pretty well there, yeah. 